my hair. <laughs> Twisting your hair up, Rapunzel. You look like a pirate. Arg! Alright, you made it. Start your questions. Alright, I'm going first? Yeah. Where do you see yourself in ten years? In ten years? Ten years. In ten years, I hope to God I have my dream job. We're in our own place. <laughs> like, uh, I hope we're in our own place. And I see her starting elementary school, middle school, middle school, <laughs> and being a soccer mom. I love to be a soccer mom. Shut up. <laughs> Mini van and I'll shoot you. Um, do you want to read the, your first one or do you want me just to go through? Just go through all yours. Okay. What is your dream job? <laughs> I see why you laughed. Um, okay. So, my dream job is to either own or be like district manager of dispensaries. Like, I would love to own one personally. Okay. What is your dream car? A Tesla. SUV. What color? Pur uh, blue. Purple. Purple. Purple would be sick. I'm pretty sure we can get it in purple. Okay. What or where is your happy place? Anything that's green, like, nature-wise. Ganja. <laughs> You done? Yeah. Oh, okay. What is your biggest pet? Peeve. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my biggest pet? I forgot a word. Um, my biggest pet peeve is when people chew loudly. Ah. Uh, that? Yeah. My brother knows that it gets to me too. So he uses it against me. <laughs> As he should. What is one really odd and or random skill you have? Um, it's not odd, but I can do blurry makeup. I mean... That is random. Yeah. That is a random skill, and you are really good at that. Thank you. Where does your name come from? Um, the first part of it was my mom settling with my sister's dad because he didn't want to name me Sapphire. <laughs> the second part of it. Um... I believe it came from my grandma. Like Cherie came, or no, Christina, sorry. Jesus. Christina came from my I grandma. I don't know my name. I don't know my uh, name. Cherie came from my aunt Nicole. And Tyen came from my sister's dad. Cool, I was talking about your first name, but that's your name. <laughs> You're welcome. What was your high school graduation like? Um. Well, my high school graduation was really short. I don't care. I just want to know what it was about. What it was like. Was Walk really, me through the experience. It was really nice. Um, we started outside of the gymnasium in like a little hallway. Then they started the music and we walked down the hallway as like a first walk and we're buddied with somebody. And then we start walking through so this, pe this way the, the whole audience can see us. And then we separate and go to sit down in the front row of chairs. And then we watch a slideshow on everyone in the class from like baby picture, like middle school picture to graduate, like to your senior picture. And then after that, we line up for our diplomas. We stand up for a group picture. <laughs> and then after that, we're done. Like it's like an hour process at the most. All right. 
This next one, very interesting. If Bella was to watch this video on her 18th birthday, what is something you would want to tell her or let her know? Jokes are bad, Mkai. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, bad <laughs> on a serious note, if she would have watched this on her 18th birthday, I would hope she would know that I love her. And right now she's a stinky little bug. She back there. She passed out. Go on. That's it? Yep. That you love her? Well, I hope that she's doing good. And I don't want to start crying. Okay, I don't okay. Let me, <laughs> let me, can I add something to this yeah. question? Is there any advice? you would like to give her if she was watching this on her 18th birthday. Don't be afraid to stay home with mom and dad a little longer if you need to. Don't feel like once you turn 18 you have to leave us. That is true. You are welcome no matter what. As long as you're paying rent. <laughs> no. If you are going to school and bettering yourself, you, you're fine. And I hope rent. to God you go to school. And pay rent. I hate you. <laughs> 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 so, are you done? Yeah. All right. This one I was really curious to hear. Mm -hmm. What is your religion? I honestly don't have one. I've gone through a whole lot of like searching through different religions. Like I've been baptized through Christianity, but I don't practice that anymore. Right now, I'm kind of dabbling a little bit with, like, witchcraft, technically. Like, I, pagan, pagan religion really fascinates me. It's a little weird, but it's fascinating. It is. I agree. Okay. That was all ten. That was all ten? That was all ten. All right, well, then I guess... You did so. a lot better than I was expecting. Yeah? I was expecting a lot of... Uh, <laughs> that's me. Damn. <laughs> I guess I'll be the only one with the cricket noises on. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, you ready? I'm ready. Alright, so I got some simple ones and then I got some ones to make you think. Cool, I don't think. Oh, well, cool, this is gonna be fun. Alright, number one. What is your favorite color? Purple. Okay. Eh. For what, though? In general. Just like your all time most favorite color. It, see, it's hard because, like, I want to say purple because that was my go to color for so many years. Mm -hmm. Like, that was the color that I just. I don't know, connect it with. Mm -hmm. But now that we've been experimenting with like the witchcraft and stuff like that, like you said, like it, it's different. Mm -hmm. Like purple, blue, green, and red are like the four colors I'm really attracted to. I like, I like purple. I mean, purple's a good color. Alrighty, next question. If you could relive a year in your life, what age would you choose? That's a hard one. There's a lot of years. <laughs> a lot of years to choose from. There's a lot of things I'd want to redo too. So, am I now? Am I picking just to relive that year? Yeah. Or to like relive that year, like to redo it. I, I guess it could be in any way that you want. Well, just to go back and relive a year. Probably say. first or second grade okay because that was when my grandparents were still around and go back spend another year with them would be pretty cool but to go back and actually like re like redo mm -hmm. probably pick like freshman year really yeah because that's when I stopped like caring about school and doing all that you done huh you done huh you done huh hehehe <laughs> Alright, do you have any phobias? I mean, like, the only really phobias I have is, like, when it comes to death. Like, there's just certain ways that, like, just scares the living shit out of me thinking about dying that way. 
like like drowned in or burning, something slow and painful mm-hmm. like that, yeah, I, that scares the crap out of me. Yeah, and I bet they got some type of phobia name for them out there. But I mean, other than that, like, that's about it. Like heights, sometimes, like it, it's really a hit and miss. There's times like I'll be on the roof of like a hotel, mm-hmm. look looking down, you know, forty feet or forty stories, and I'm cool. Forty feet. Forty feet. 40 oh God, feet. I'm freaking out here. <laughs> and then. And then there's times like I'll be flying, you know, we're at like 32,000 feet. I'll look out the window and I'm cool. But then there's times that like, as the plane's coming down or taking off, we're like 100 feet off the ground. I'm just like, holy shit, what is happening? So it's just kind of a hit and miss. Kind of, like, my, kind of depends on my day, I guess. Like, like if I've had a good day, I'm just like, yeah, you know, this is cool. If it's one of those days where like I've been worrying and thinking a lot, it's just like, that's when it will start. Getting to uh, you. Yeah, I'm weird. No, you're fine. I'm still weird. A little bit. I love you. I love you. I got these on my head. <laughs> uh, what was your favorite date of ours? Huh? What was your favorite date of ours? Like ours? Like a day like I'll never forget? Mm-hmm. Just no, like all. one date that we had that you... Oh, like where we went out on a date? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I was going to say, it's like one day, I'll be like, holy shit, there's a lot of those. <laughs> uh, one date. Probably going to the Golden Knights game. I like that too. Like, I know it wasn't really a date, we went with my older brother too, but it was something we did together. It was my first hockey game. Mine too. And it was definitely a, an experience I don't think I'd ever forget. I loved where we were too. Like, yeah. Even though it was standing basically only, but. Yeah, but it's cool though, because it's not like it's an eight hour long sport. Right. So like, never... by the time you're like, oh shit, my legs are getting tired, you're like, oh, game's over. Right. Like, you didn't realize you were standing for so long. No, and you get so wrapped up in the game too, like you forget. I mean, even if you look at the people who buy seats, like. They're upstanding most of the time too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite smell? <laughs> Oh. Somebody asked you just went through my head right now. <laughs> some inappropriate, some just disgusting. Okay. Some that if you're over 18, you'll understand. Some if you're over 21, you'll understand. My favorite smell. Like, are we talking like as far as like candles and stuff go? Because like, if we're talking like that, it'd just be something like fruity. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, when you're just walking down the street and you smell smell, what would your favorite smell be to smell? Anything that's not a homeless person or a dumpster. <laughs> okay. Uh, what famous person would you like to meet? Who? Where do I begin? Dead or alive. Just one? Yep. Ah. Uh. Probably say Seth Rogen right now. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's a funny dude. Um, are you sure you're fighting your uncle? Fine. Wow. Are you still? It's a final effort. Yeah. Okay, cool. Glad you understood. What is your favorite memory of us? Easy. The day we had Bella. It was awesome because it's a great memory between us, but then it's also like. Our very first memory with her. Sorry. Oh, you right now. <laughs> but yeah. I like that day too. It was a good day. Oh, can't say it was a good day, but it was a good day. If you became famous, what would it be for? Remember the show Jackass? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Something along those lines. I can see it. Kirk ass. <laughs> Something. Jack Kirk. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What is your favorite? My favorite? Favored. 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 <laughs> What's my favorite what? Childhood memory. <laughs> favorite childhood memory. Going to the marina back in Chicago. All those times. 
grandparents, my mom, my older brother, my little brother's dad, all the people that had their trailers and shit out there. It was good times. Had a lot of friends out there. Yeah. Yeah. And my favorite question. If you had to choose a game show to be on, what would it be? A game show? Yeah. Ooh. Is this game shows that are currently going on or just any game any show? Any game cool, show. Cool, because I don't know what's currently on TV anymore. Um, game show, I would want. One of those, like, like a Wipeout or a Midget. Uh, Midget? Midget Ninja Turtles? Yes. I would love to be on that one. But, uh, what's that show called? American Ninja Warriors or something Mutant like Ninja that? Ninja Turtle Warriors. <laughs> Midget, Midget Mutant Ninja Tinder Warriors. Shut up, you know what I bet. Tinder Warriors. <laughs> Tinder? Don't hurt their feelings now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, one of those. I feel like it would be really fun and really funny. God, I'd love to see you do the Ninja Warrior one. Me too. On like, flat stilts like this. You just bah, 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 bah. Like, I want to do, like, I think it'd be cool once to do, like, the obstacle and, like, actually complete it. Mm-hmm. And then after that, just to go through and just get knocked out by everything. Just like guys can I go through one more time. Right. Like, can you purposely make me fall? <laughs> Give everything as much as you can. Alright, babe. That was the last question. Uh, uh, Ooh, surprise bonus question. Yes. How much do you love me? Why? That's, that's just the question. Oh, I thought you wanted something. No. Um, on a scale of like 1 to 10? Uh, yeah. yeah. I'd probably take a 3.7. Oh, cool. What? I was expecting lower. Oh, okay. No, I'd probably say a solid 12. Um. As you should. <laughs> ah. But I, I love you. I love you. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. Ooh. What? A few questions about Bella. Ooh. Bella, you ready to answer some questions? <laughs> I don't know. Where do you. Who do you think she'll be when she is five? She's gonna be a five year old. No shit. But do you think she's gonna be like sassy? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's gonna have an attitude. Do you think she's gonna go to college? Yeah. And she's gonna graduate high school? Yep. What do you think her favorite sport's gonna be? Considering you and I don't watch sports. I'd love to say something outdoors, but <laughs> what sport really isn't outdoors? But like something that has to do with like like rock climbing, hiking, surfing, like that kind of like nature type stuff. I can see it. Alright, I'm gonna ask you some question you ask me. If Bella wants to watch this city TV, hmm. what would you tell her? Quit being mean to your mom. Keep helping me make jokes about mom. Don't stop trying and keep your head up. Alrighty, guys. Well, that was our questions for today. They you guys, questions. huh? Huh? What did you say? Who? You. Alright, Oh, okay. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. Let us know. Until then, tickle, tickle, tickle. We'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, it's waking up. She's waking up. Get off me. Fall off the bed. Well, maybe you should sit up.
<laughs> you hurt my knee though. Oh, you dropped the camera. You hit the stand. What thing? The stand. You're lucky that's the only thing that fell. How did I hit the stand? When you rolled. I fell straight to the ground. 